payment is over. I've only got a few weeks left to live. The tumour has grown beyond expectations, they've just told me now. No, no. We need to go and see James. What's he got to do with it? He's the best lawyer around. He has to get you off these charges. <laughs> I don't care about that. I do. Minnie is going to need someone to look after her when I am gone. We need to do something, Damon. Anything to get James Nightingale on board. We could do another TV appeal, but this time we could get Holly and Phil. Max, stop. Even better. You could do a naked abseil down the hospital. We would make tons of money if you did that. I don't care about the money, Max. I don't want to lose you. I will always be by your side, your guardian angel. What about you? I mean, the pain must be horrendous. It is. I am soldiering on because I love you, and you have to do the same. We should make the most of our last days together. We need to focus on James. We should go to the Caribbean, fly first class. Damon, listen to we me. We should spend our final hours in the sunshine in paradise. Listen to me. Minnie is going to need someone to look after her, and you are that someone. I know that you're worried about me, but right now, keeping you out of prison has got to be our priority. OK. I'll talk to James. We'll find it together. Max. Max, you need rest. We really need your help. Yeah, of course I'll help you. In fact, I'm going to suggest a very special service. It's called Legal Aid. No, 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 you, you don't understand. You are the only person that can get Damon off. We don't want anybody else. If you don't help, Minnie will be left without parents. Well, I sympathise. I really do, but uh, these Christian Bianchis don't pay for themselves. I hope you trip in them shoes and break your neck, you vile, despicable man! Hmm. Good luck with the court case. What's that? I'm trying to get a prize for my share of the boat. As in sell up? Yeah. What, you didn't even think to tell me? Mate, I'm desperate. My wife's collecting money on the streets. But we'll find the money in here for James. It's not just about the money. Well, what are you going on about? Hey, is everything OK? It's Maxine. She's got weeks to live. Minnie's going to end up with no one. She didn't want to say before, but she can slip away any week now. Poor Maxine. <laughs> Save Damon Kinsella! You couldn't help yourself, could you? You had to do it again. Sienna. Damon has got a jail sentence hanging over his head. How could you do that to him? I'm doing it for him. James was refusing to wave his face, so I thought it'd change his mind. But it hasn't, has it? Yeah, because he's the devil incarnate. I agreed to keep this quiet to help you win the case and to finally put all of this to bed. I mean, do you realise? How ridiculous a miracle cure is going to look now. I'll just say that the doctor's got it wrong. People get misdiagnosed all the time. No, you're going to stop this right now. You were the one that said keeping up with this lie would save Damon from prison. That wasn't carte blanche just to make up more horrendous lies. Give me my money back. Oh. Get off it. You want it? Here. And don't you ever ask for my help again. Everyone should be helping you. You, you, you poor, poor thing. Come here. 